Hi, my name's Matt Denton, this is Mantis Hex, and today I'm going to be flying one of these. I wish. Today I'm at HMS Sultan, home of the Royal Navy's Marine and Air Engineering. They train thousands of apprentices here every year and supply the fleet with engineers and technicians of the highest standard. But I'm not here to fly helicopters, I'm here because they've got a parade ground, a speed gun and some goodwill. And I plan on turning that parade ground into a giant XXL Lego go-kart drag strip. Let's do it. Well, I made that 27 miles an hour, but I don't know for sure. So I've got some help from Siobhan. And she has an official speed gun. Let's do it again. <laughs> got a bit twitchy then. It was like, I had to make a correction and I just touched the wheel and it went, whoa, that's horrible. <laughs> 27 on the way back, yeah. One problem that is still very evident is that I cannot steer this thing, particularly when now I've got more grip on this tarmac. So I'm going to have to split that axle in two, but then I've got to machine a complicated part. So I've enlisted the help of George, a leading engineering technician here at HMS Sultan. George is going to make me this part up. I've got you the materials and the drawing in a box. Do your best, and I'll see you in a few weeks' time. Thank you very much. That's what I call service. 27 miles an hour is pretty good, but I'd like to get the go-kart above 30 miles an hour if I can. So I'm switching out my 14-tooth pulley on the motor for a 16-tooth pulley. This should give me some more speed, but will reduce the torque, so hopefully I've still got enough power to get up to speed. I should also take this moment to thank HMS Sultan and Captain John Voice for the use of his parade ground. Thirty-three miles an hour, six miles an hour faster. Let's give it a go. I was still building up speed. It was like I was getting up to about 31, I made it, but um, it felt like it was still trying to, trying to go up slowly. It's just running out of torque now. What did you make it? Yeah, I got 30. 30? Yeah, I think I just saw 31, but okay, I'll do another run. <laughs> I just saw 31 again. Yeah, I just got 30 again. 30 again? Oh! <laughs> What does the computer say? 30.7. Do it! <laughs> it's definitely faster coming this way, yeah. with the wind behind me. What did it get going that way? 29-ish. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was seeing, about 29. I could try one more run. I don't think I'll get much more out of it. Oh, hello. <laughs> the steering column's coming apart. <laughs> I could re-glue it, but maybe we'll just leave it there. Maybe I'm t testing my luck now. <laughs> just come off the hands halfway down there. Uh, dropped onto the floor and mashed through a wire, but it's all right because the throttle's still working. The important bit. I've got to admit, it's not as much fun as it is just hooning it around and doing skids in a smaller space. I got it up to 30 miles an hour with the 16 tooth uh, pulley wheels, but it did feel a bit underpowered. Uh, it took a long time to get up to that speed. There's so much grip in the tyres now that the fixed axle and the fact that the wheels won't jack at the front 
I just can't get it around a corner at any speed. Just does not want to go around the corner. Come on. But hopefully the engineer here is going to sort that part out for me and I'll be back to pick that up and fit it and then hopefully get this onto a go-kart track to see if it can handle it proper corners. So don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Bye.